Okay, this is some more Graham Stephan dirt. Graham Stephan, over almost two years ago, called me a scammer in one of his YouTube videos. He had my video up because I was running ads at the time. And this is someone that Graham actually promoted on his channel. And let's just go ahead and watch it because I went to Graham's channel to look for the video and it's gone. And then I went ahead to look and see um, the video where he made about me. And that one's also gone. So Graham is kind of cleaning up his channel because I think for the first time in his YouTube career, he's getting some very negative feedback, pushback that he's never had to experience before. One of the biggest grifters that has ever been on YouTube just got fined $53 million by the FTC for lying to his customers. Now, the individual that I'm talking about in this video is known as Kevin David. His real name is Kevin Hulse. Uh, if you've been on YouTube at all in the past couple years, you've probably seen ads of his. He constantly would run ads, especially from 2017 to 2019, promoting his Amazon FBA course, which he sold for thousands of dollars. And then he later sold other courses on cryptocurrency, on Shopify, and an Amazon automation course, which he eventually sold for $100,000 to get into that course. Now this individual was heavily promoted by some of the best known and biggest names on YouTube. Uh, Graham Stephan heavily promoted this guy. He was on his channel multiple times. Graham Stephan actually went to Kevin David's house, toured the whole thing, promoted his course. What's up you guys, it's Graham here. So I'm here to a friend's house, Kevin David. He just bought this insane place. I drove two and a half hours to get down here to check out this house. So let's go and see it. It looks absolutely amazing and it looks like there's a bit of a bridge here so the real estate agent in me is just like freaking out over all of this so let's see the way yeah it's a bridge yeah you know you've made it when you have a home that has like a mini bridge that gets into the front door so let's check this out mtv style cribs video oh here we go welcome to the crib here Eddie. We go. thanks man beautiful home thank you so much yeah guys meet Kevin David. Nice to meet you guys. Grandma always welcome in the home. <laughs> Let's check it out. Shelby Church, who is another big YouTuber as well, actually invited Kevin David on her channel to talk about Amazon FBA. This is a product that has made millions. So how do I know this? Well, I kind of went down a rabbit hole of watching YouTube videos about it. And also, I know an Amazon seller who's been really successful and gave me the inside scoop. Well, I mean, there's, there's a million ways to make money online, but the, the problem is, like, most of them just don't work yeah. well. Or if they do, it's like you're spending an hour to make, like, a dollar. Yeah. So you guys may remember Kevin David from my follow-up video to how much money a million views gets. And his entire channel basically is about how to make money online. And he's done it a number of different ways actually, but a big one is from being an Amazon seller. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this stuff, I didn't believe it was real. Like, I just seemed to... Now, Shelby is probably not going to get the negative feedback that Graham's getting. Uh, Shelby really doesn't delve into this type of stuff. And I think her folks are going to give her a pass. But Graham, he's not getting a pass. Too good to be true. Now, these videos from these other creators are still on their channel years later promoting this scam artist, Kevin David. And I don't know if they're ever going to remove these videos, but hopefully at this point they will, because this guy is now a confirmed scammer. So I'll go ahead and pull up the complaint in just a minute. But one thing I want to say is I actually called this guy out in 2019 for being a scammer. And up until a couple months ago, my video calling him out was actually the highest viewed video on my channel. And several people actually commented saying that they are happy that they watched the video and it protected them from actually not going ahead and buying his course. So I'm very happy that I was able to get at least a few people to not give this scammer any money. Now, another person who actually called him out was obviously CoffeeZilla, and CoffeeZilla had a much bigger reach, of course, and Kevin David actually threatened Coffee, uh, CoffeeZilla 
with a lawsuit claiming if he continued to talk negatively about him, uh, he would sue him. So Kavizilla then actually made more videos where he didn't actually say his name in the video. Uh, if you actually watch the video, He Who Shall Not Be Named, that's in reference to Kevin David. Uh, Kevin David is a massive scammer who tried to silence anyone who talked negatively about him. Okay, so I'll pull up the complaint and show you what the FTC filed against him. Now, this is now final. There is a judgment against Kevin David. He has to pay millions of dollars. He doesn't have to pay the full $53 million, and I'll go over as to why that is. It's actually good news uh, that he doesn't have to pay, so I'll go over. But let's go over the complaint as to what it actually says. So it says, Hulse and Arnett. Hulse is Kevin David. Hulse is his real and last also, this is something else. I have been saying for years to stay away from Amazon FBA. And it's really starting to come out that a lot of people who signed up for these Amazon FBA courses are losing a lot of money. Um, I was in the resale niche when I first started on YouTube. And I used to actually sell quite a bit on Amazon. I used to sell on Amazon, eBay, uh, Craigslist. And I, I knew quite a bit about Amazon FBA. And in the early days, Amazon FBA was great. Literally, you could start with 500 bucks selling you stuff and shipping it off to Amazon and get it to six figures in a year because there wasn't a lot of competition. But now you have so much competition that if you're going to try to do Amazon FBA and you do not start off with at least fifteen to twenty five thousand to get your product, to do testing, to give away free stuff, you, you don't really have a chance with Amazon FBA. And a lot of people are starting to see this. A lot of people are struggling to make money with Amazon FBA. And this Kevin David guy, that's what he pushed. And he's not the only one. There's a lot of these Amazon FBA guys who didn't get the million dollar house, didn't get the Lambo until they started selling courses. Their Amazon uh, FBA businesses were not that profitable. And anytime you see someone selling Amazon FBA stuff, you're going to see the house, the Lambo. Uh, there was these two guys who were trying to be the anti-Amazon guru who were um, show up in the parking lot with a Volkswagen. But once again, I, like guys, I, I've been saying this for years, years and years and years. Last name, Arnett was his lackey who did a bunch of his work for him. Hulse and Arnett promoted themselves as experts with years of experience working with Amazon, offering to build consumers profitable online Amazon businesses under a variety of program names, including Amazon Autopilot, AMZ Autopilot, AMZ DeFi, Amazon Automation, Amazon Done For You, and Amazon Done With You. These programs range from $5,000 to $100,000, purportedly providing various levels of service and access to products. Now, like I said, back in 2019, when I first talked about this guy, he just had his cheaper course. Was basically, he just told you how to create your own Amazon store. All the information was outdated. He presented it. It was, it was a very easy way to make you know $100,000 a year. You could quit your day job do this full time it simply wasn't true. Now he actually got much greedier, which you can see later on, he had courses, Amazon automation, where he would set up the entire program. He set up a whole functioning business for you for only the small price of a hundred thousand dollars. And then he would say that that course would make you hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. And it's crazy to me that there are people who gave him a hundred thousand dollars to set up a program for him. If you actually think logically, there's no reason why this would exist. If Kevin David could create uh, an Amazon store for $100,000 that could make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, and he's done this before, why would he need your money? He could just do this himself. You're just a middleman in that situation. There's no reason why this would even need to exist. Defendants advertise that the Amazon Done For You program typically generates 50 to 80. Just a little insight on that. What these people who were saying that they would open up an Amazon store for you was because of the Amazon rule that you can only have one store, right? Or one Amazon account. However, if you have your Amazon account in an LLC, you can have multiple Amazon accounts. I knew someone that had 
five different Amazon accounts because he had five different LLCs. But this is what they used to tell people. But he, he's 100 percent correct. If you had the ability to create an Amazon store and make millions, why would you need one hundred thousand dollars from someone? And like I said, a lot of these people have lost their money. 80% in annual returns generally outperforms the stock market and that purchasers can eventually sell their Amazon business for six figures. Defendants claim that their Amazon done for you program is best for people looking to supplement or replace their nine to five income. They promise to teach purchasers how to open and run a successful Amazon store while Amazon will provide customers. Defendants earnings claims are false or unsubstantiated. Most purchasers are unlikely to earn the advertised income and many, if not most, lose money. I've been saying that for years. These guys who sell these courses, uh, much like Meet Kevin, uh, they make the majority of their money from selling the courses, not from what they actually teach in the course. Now, unlike Meet Kevin, Meet Kevin does the same thing as a bunch of these courses. Now, Meet Kevin is smarter in the fact that he doesn't have these claims that you'll make a ton of money. He doesn't say, oh, if you take my course, you'll make $100,000. Oh, if you take this, you'll be rich. He's smart enough to realize that if he actually put that information, said that when he's trying to sell the course, he could get sued for a lot of money. So he's smarter than Kevin David was. But it's basically the same thing. They're selling you picks at pickaxes. Uh, they know that, you know, Amazon FBA, they know that crypto trading bots, which is another thing that Kevin David tried to sell, they know this stuff isn't really going to make them very rich. Selling the courses is where the real money is. Now, the complaint also goes on to say that Kevin would try to silence uh, any of his customers that spoke out badly about his product. Uh, one of the customers actually sent out a mass email to other customers of Kevin David and said, are any of you making money? And a bunch of them responded, no, we're not making any money. And then Kevin threatened to sue the initial person uh, that sent that email out to everyone trying to get information if other people are making money. Now, this was the initial complaint that was filed. Uh, there has since been a settlement in the case, and they were initially supposed to pay $52,929,000. That's how much Kevin David would, had to pay back to you know, give the money back to all the customers that he defrauded. He made about $54 million total over the course of since about 2017 selling all these courses. So that's a ton of money that he made defrauding people, and he had to give pretty much all of it back. Now, what's really interesting about this is the FTC says that he only has to pay $2,600,000. Now, you may be thinking, that's terrible. He should have to pay all of it. Why does he only have to pay $2,600,000, right? And the reason for that is because Kevin David does not have $52 million. He invested a lot of this money back into his companies to continue to grow them. He actually spent millions and millions of dollars in ads on YouTube, right? He spent millions of dollars trying to get people to sign up through the ads on YouTube. So he doesn't have anywhere near $52 million. The FTC believes that he has about $2,600,000. And they say, you know, you got to give us everything you have left to pay back the customers you defrauded, and he can no longer sell these courses going forward. Now, there is the possibility that Kevin David is possibly hiding some of his money. I know that he was heavily involved in cryptocurrency, uh, so he may be hiding some in there, but it does say, the judgment does say that uh, the FTC will be looking into his finances, and if they find that he hid any money, if any money was hidden, because he, he said he only had you know, 2.6 million, basically. If he's if it shows that he hid any money, then he then has to go and pay the remainder of the 52, uh, almost 53 million dollar judgment. So this guy, this is just proof positive. Like literally, I will show you that um, on my channel, I have been the celebrity. Amazon. No eBay, no Amazon, make more money. When did I start making these videos? No eBay. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. 2014 is when I made this no eBay, no Amazon, more money video. And I made a bunch of them. A bunch of them. I've been warning people for years that Amazon FBA was not what people thought it was. Also, let me go to his channel. And let's see. 28... Um, 
Nope, it is gone. 28 entre let's see I'm going to show you how I know what the name of this video is nope <clears throat> the video is gone he took it down <laughs> and apparently um this one of the videos now this is a video that i did graham stephan called me a scammer and why he's a hypocrite i said this and put this video out april 12 2021 I put this video out. I said that he was a complete hypocrite because I knew that he had brought on legitimate scammers on his channel. I said that in this video. I said that. And once again, this, this proves it. This proves it. Um, let's see. He's talking about Shelby. Uh, and Shelby, she still has the video on her channel. But like I said, Shelby, she's not going to get the blowback that Graham is getting. That's not going to happen to Shelby. It's just not going to happen to Shelby. But once again, I, I went ahead and I went to Google. He took it down. I don't know if because I was complaining or I went after him. I don't even know when he took it down because I wasn't, you know, I don't watch his channel and I don't really keep up with Graham like that. But this video, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, YouTube. Let's see. Uh, go to his channel. Because, you know, it was the strangest things. Um, I was getting all of these messages. And because I did not even know that he had put the video up. But I started getting all of these messages. Um, people was like, Graham Stephens called you a scammer and all this other stuff. And... Like I said, then I found then someone actually sent me the video with timestamps. And I was like, whoa. But once again, in this video, I said Graham was a hypocrite because he had scammers on his channel. And this is proof positive. And right now, Graham is trying to clean house because he, like I said, I don't know when he deleted this video but I can't find it on this channel. And he he has also deleted the Kevin D David video. So Graham is in cleanup mode. And let's see. And this guy, he's not made a video in going on four months. So due to the fine, he cannot sell his Amazon FBA course anymore. If he does break that, he's going to jail. So I don't fully, and apparently this has been going on. And as you can see right here, this product sells. This has been going on since August. So September, October, November. So this has been going on. Like he has been served notice that he cannot sell his Amazon FBA course. He cannot. And also, I noticed that his ads stopped running. So, I mean, you know, it, it's wild. It, it is It is wild. Let's see. Social. Go to Social Blade. And just to show you what happens to a YouTube channel when you don't post Kevin David. <laughs> he 
his channel is like he was getting millions millions of views per month but I also I think he was using let me kind of go ahead and do something real quick um and this is something else too all right if you're going to run youtube ads you do not want to run youtube ads from your youtube your youtube channel because it, it kills your organic reach and he has 1.4 million subscribers and apparently he didn't know this but yeah But then again, he he doesn't need the YouTube money. He he was making more money per month selling his Amazon FBA course than he was making from YouTube for a whole year. So he's he's done. He's got to find another way to make money. And let's see, has he completely gone dark? Uh, Instagram. <laughs> he has made his Instagram account private. That's funny. And he's on TikTok. <laughs> Same thing with TikTok. Um, so. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Uh, Facebook. Yeah, his Facebook page is gone. His Instagram account is made private. Um, Still, that's still up. But yeah. He, he's going dark, man. He's going dark. So this is once again, and I, I've said some stuff and I've had people kind of push back uh, against what I said about Graham Stephan not being a good business person. Anything he does outside of YouTube isn't going to do well. And once again, he had a legitimate scammer promoted on his YouTube channel. And he called me a legitimate business person, a scammer. So going forward, the... Judgment. I don't think this is going to be the end of Graham. I feel just give him a little time and he'll be right back where he was. And like I said, Shelby, they're not coming for Shelby because Shelby, Shelby is like non-threatening. You know, she's like the girl next door, your neighbor. I mean, she she's not. I mean, she she's not going to get any anything. Meet Daryl and Patrice. Yeah, her people are not going to come for her because for the most part, Shelby, this would be pretty much the first public mistake that Shelby has made. And like I said, it's not like, you know, she was pushing him or she was getting money from this dude. So like I said, Shelby, Shelby will be fine. Shelby will be OK. But. Yeah, and uh, I feel, let's see, at one point, I don't know if he deleted it, but he had actually responded on the video.
let's see. Um, I don't think that he may have deleted that comment. Because I know for a fact he responded. Let's see. Yep, there is. <laughs> he, he left that up. Hey, man, I just want to... It's done with over-the-top sarcasm, tongue-in-cheek and everything. Um, But, yeah. So... What is happening is they are coming for Graham. They're coming for Graham. Meet Kevin, actually, I think Meet Kevin's probably much going to escape because Meet Kevin kind of separated himself from millennial money. But once again, this is not a good quarter for Graham. The FTX thing, now this thing. And, you know, Graham has an image. And Graham's biggest thing has been his image. He's the clean cut boy next door. You know, he doesn't really put out any. Well, lately he's kind of changed. He's not the same Graham that he was in the beginning. And I feel that the money has made a big difference because like, you know, he used to be his whole claim to fame was he was super frugal super cheap and i'm like um dude and i knew once he started once he he got some pussy in his life because let's see um I think they're getting married. Yep. So this, she brought him out of his cheap ass ways. <laughs> this Mr. Cheap now lives in a house with a pool. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's kind of funny. <coughs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny, but, um, they're, they're getting married. So, <laughs> so you're going to ignore you swindling money from us on F. <laughs> they are coming for him, but like I said, uh, fraud, you worse than Tate. Yeah, lost all respect. Sorry, Graham. Top spot up for grab. You probably too. I mean, like I said, th this will die down. And I can say this. You know, I, I can say this from the fact that I created that video last October. And that was. Well, I didn't actually cost anybody any money. So we, we will see how long this goes up and how long he's going to have these issues. But, you know. My advice for Graham would be just keep posting content because that's the thing that's going to help you work out of it. Because if you like stop posting content or you hide, because like I said, he just posted this four days ago, 288, 288. Like I said, he's going to weather this pretty easily, but this just goes to show you, man. Just goes to show you that a lot of these YouTube personalities are not seasoned business people. They're just not. And you should take that in consideration when um, you watch them. And me included. This is why I don't really touch on. The sauce and all this other over the top spicy stuff because I know in the end it's just not going to be good for you. It's just not. It's just not. <laughs>